Remember the issue of, uh, of one page article in Nature saying that vitamin C is pro-oxidant. Uh, have, you, have you seen that? No. Okay, there was a study in England, what they did, they look at DNA damage uh, yeah. by giving vitamin C and measuring level of DNA damage. And uh, that was only, I, you know, just one page with one graph. Uh, what they did, they look at two different markers of DNA damage. One of them is uh, two deoxy um, uridine. One of them was five oxy oxo, and one of them eight hydroxyguanosine. Eight hydroxyguanosine versus two oxoadenine. Okay, and what they found: two oxoadenine was increased, and and eight hydroxy guanine was decreased and then they forgot completely that or they disregarded completely that decrease of 8 hydroxyguanine uh, but only emphasized increase in 5 oxoadenine therefore the conclusion of the article was that vitamin C is pro-oxidant and when the newspaper picked this picked it up all over the world, they said, vitamin C is causing cancer. Study shows in England that vitamin C causing cancer. And exactly for that reason, I conducted the study of the 500, 1000, 5000, all of that. In addition, to, by looking at the immune function, we looked at apoptosis, meaning programmed cell death. How many white blood cells in our system are dying at the time? at every you know single moment when we put them in culture and how about level of dna damage 8 hydroxyguanosine the conclusion which were published in uh, cancer detection and prevention which i'll hand you a copy of that was that vitamin c up to 5000 gram enhanced immune function t cell function b cell function enhanced natural killer cell activity, decreased apoptosis, meaning less oxidative stress at cellular damage, at cellular level, meaning less oxidative damage to the cells when they consume even 5,000 grams of, 5,000 milligrams, 5 grams of vitamin C. And finally, DNA damage, no change, no increase in DNA damage. So my conclusion that uh, when I wrote the article was that if vitamin C enhances the functionality of the cells in our system, if it's not increasing DNA damage, is vitamin C anti-cancer or is pro-cancer? So the conclusion was vitamin C is anti-cancer. And, and they wrote a letter to the editor, uh, the investigators from England, and I responded to that. And exactly what I'm discussing in here, saying that you did this service to our community by letting them to misuse your data. Your data of increase in 5-oxoadenine versus 8-hydroxyguanosine Together, if you put together, it's not showing enhancement in DNA damage or DNA ADA. Therefore, your data was misused and public misled. And because of your information, many people stopped taking vitamin C, which is disservice to our community. Based on my findings of immune enhancement, less apoptosis, and less DNA damage, I believe vitamin C is anti-cancer. I am using one gram vitamin C for my health. How about you? I asked them that question. And that's in my letter to the editor. And then after that, they wrote a response to me. They said, well, uh, I, we absolutely agree with you. In fact, in the next article, we are going to publish pretty soon that we agree with your findings and vitamin C is not carcinogenic, it's not causing cancer, it is anti-cancer. And did they ever publish that article? They did publish that article, yes. 
because I had heard that uh, in, in the original study, it wasn't so much intended to determine whether or not vitamin C caused uh, mutation or damage to DNA, because it, it was so widely accepted that it wouldn't. It was actually a test designed to compare two methods of DNA uh, analysis. Exactly. And in <laughs> fact, what they didn't say was the old method of testing seemed faulty and the new method seemed uh, to be more accurate. They disregarded that whole concept of the test to focus on the negative findings of the old method of research. Yeah. The other, I, I mean, I'm going to strengthen what you said right now. You see, 5 oxoadenine versus 8 hydroxyguanosine is a ratio of 3 to 1 in the cell. If you have three units of 8 hydroxyguanosine and it's reduced, and you have one unit, a, uh, 5 oxoadenine is increased. Together, in a favor of what? In a favor of decrease. So therefore, even their data was showing that vitamin C is anti-cancer. But they forgot completely, they, they completely disregarded 8-hydroxyguanosine reduction. They just emphasized 5-oxoadenine uh, uh, increase. And therefore, they misled the public, as I said. That wasn't their, their intention to show that, you are absolutely correct, that, that wasn't their intention to show that vitamin C is causing uh, oxidative stress. It was opposite. So that's why they published another article later on and they did clarify that.